Hey y'all, it's Grace at Living Well Realty. I am back here in Anatown Square checking up on this beautiful house that I am standing in front of. As a reminder, this one is built by Pulte and it's the Morville plan and we have some drywall. So let's go take a look. And if you are watching this wanting to buy or build, I would love to help. So reach out to me until then. Let's go see this house. Let's go take a look inside. So your brick is here as well as the sand that they'll mix to make the mortar. Um, but they won't start bricking quite yet, it looks like. So one thing that Pulte does is they will put these pink X's for things that still need to be done before they can start bricking. And then they'll come back, circle it with a Sharpie once that item has been taken care of. And it looks like they may have still a couple more that they are needing to get done before they start bricking. So that should be coming pretty soon. They're bricking the houses next door. So I imagine y'all are next in line once they get those last items taken care of. So as y'all can see, this house looks different already. We have drywall. So let's take a look. We'll start up at this front bedroom. And they are, they're pouring a foundation next door, so that is why it might be a little bit loud. But this room has a great natural light. We are, I believe we're south facing, so we kind of get that full sun over the house. So here's a look at that front bedroom with the closet. And then we have that full bathroom right outside of that room. And this one will be two sinks. And then as we've seen in the last couple updates, we have our toilet and then bathtub and shower right here as well as a linen closet. Next to that is this coat closet over here. And it looks so different. I love when we get drywall up because you can really see each room and all of the unique features. One of my favorite things in this house is this entryway because you have these arches going into the main living space as well as formal dining room. I just love that little detail. I think it's so pretty. It makes the home look so elevated. Here is that formal dining room. I also feel like once we get drywall, it feels so much bigger just because you can see exactly where each room is. Framing can be a little funky because it can be a little hard to tell. And then let's go across the way. We'll take a look at the study and laundry room before we keep moving. So here is that study, and they are done with drywall. And then all of these lines right here that you see, that is called the tape and mud process. So that is where they put this tape on and then cover it up with this sealant. That is gonna merge those pieces of drywall together. Because if you've seen drywall, it's like a big sheet, almost of like a cardboard material on the outside and then it's chalky on the inside. So you can actually see right here, this is drywall. So it's kind of chalky on the inside and almost like a papery material on the outside, which is why it cannot get wet. So they won't do that until we have all of the exterior elements sealed. So we need windows, we need the roof, doors. Here's our laundry room. And then we have a little bit of storage under here so that's underneath the stairs, as well as our electrical panel here. And then as you walk through, you'll notice that sometimes they use screws. Sometimes it'll be nails, so that one is a screw. And typically what we'll see is like an interior wall is gonna use a nail. This one's a nail. So just kind of to tell the difference. and then they'll seal those up as you can see up here. So this one's cool because we can see so many different aspects of where we're at in construction right now. All right, back on track. This is our kitchen, which is beautiful, so much natural light. We have a big island right here in the middle. And then you can see all along here is gonna be our cabinets. We have outlets. And then these wires that are hanging out, those are for the under cabinet lighting. So my clients added that at the design center. 
So that was a great addition. Just a nice little feature to have. And then we're plumbed for the sink and dishwasher in the island. And here's our living room. So really great lighting in here. We have really high ceilings. I believe they're nine or 10 feet. Don't quote me on that though. But over here, this is kind of the planning area. My clients, I think, are going to use it as a bar, which is such a great idea because it opens up right into the kitchen and the living room. And they're gonna have some cabinets in here so they can use that for storage and some outlets in case they need a margarita machine or a wine opener. So that is gonna be super fun. I'm hoping they invite me over for some parties. Here is that primary suite. And this is a really good size room. They did have the option to add the bump out, but in my opinion, you really don't need it because it's such a big space already. You could fit a huge bed, nightstands, big dresser, and you still get more of your backyard because that bump out, if you're not familiar, it'll essentially bump out these windows back here to kind of make a curved piece, but then that digs into your yard and you do have to pay quite a bit because it's a structural change. So that's a pretty big upgrade. And then it takes away some of your yard space. It does add some square footage, but just my personal opinion, don't think it's necessary, but everyone is different. Everyone has their own things that they want in their house. Here's a look at that primary bathroom. So we have our tub and our shower over here. And then that window has kind of the tempered, like kind of foggy glass. The appropriate term is not that, but y'all know what I mean. It's not clear, so you have some privacy. And then our water closet right next to you, very large coat closet. And there is quite a bit of mud that you'll see all over the ground here. So they're gonna come back and get that cleaned up before they do our flooring, of course. One thing that we'll see in Texas is they do try to move pretty quickly. So because of that, sometimes it kind of makes a mess. All right, so let's head upstairs now. So upstairs, just a reminder, we have two bedrooms, a full bath, and then the media and game room. So right when you get upstairs, this is our game room right here. Really big space, so tons of opportunities to do either a pool table, TV, a bar up here, homeschool spot if you have a family, really a lot of options. And then something in our pre-drywall walkthrough that we looked at was making sure that every outlet and electrical piece that we added was installed before they did drywall. So that's super important if you are building to make sure at that point in construction you have those outlets because that will save some time in the future if you've already paid for it. It'll just make it so much easier to catch before the walls go up. All right, this right here is our media room, if you can't tell. Nice and dark, which is what we want. We do have a little attic storage. And then over here are the two bedrooms that I mentioned, as well as our full bathroom. And this one does have that attic access as well up here and then full bathroom. This one will be one sink, as you can tell from the plumbing. And then we have the toilet and the tub. And then our final bathroom, or bedroom, I'm sorry. <laughs> final bedroom. This one is a really good size, nice and big. And I love the detail in these two upstairs bedrooms. 
how the ceiling isn't just squared off. It just adds kind of a nice little detail in those corners. And one thing to notice if you're wondering what this little vent is right here, that is actually the return because we don't have a return in the bedroom. So this right here is gonna be our air vent right here. And then that over there above the door is gonna be, it acts like a return. So it's gonna keep the air flowing throughout the home. And that way every room is, has the same pressure and you don't have to worry about doors slamming shut when the air kicks on. All right, y'all, that is it for this update. Thank you so much for watching. This house is looking beautiful. I love that we have some drywall up and super excited for y'all to make this home, hopefully by the year end. So if you are watching this, wanting to buy or build, remember, I would love to help you. So reach out to me, my information's below. And until then, y'all stay blessed.